Reborn is going to move forward, and uh, Lightning is now going to be coming in for gear in the rear. So a ZVP. Not Wait. a lot of love for Terran tonight. I've seen quite a bit of Lightning. Uh, Lightning, a pretty impressive Protoss. We'll see what he can do. Uh, but we do see a couple people saying uh, lag and chat. I do only see a couple, though. And usually if it's a major problem, we see... Uh, the crowd crying out so do let us know if the stream looks good to you um, i'm assuming it's okay and uh, some people saying it's twitch which has been not terribly uncommon lately getting our game set up here so we're going to be going into game number four and the score is going to be two to one in favor of gear in i'm sorry in favor of starcraft ascension and remember, these are best of nine series, so whoever's the first team to get to five games won, they will be the victor in moving on to the semifinals. Uh, I'm going to go in here and change a couple options real quick if you want to let everybody know about the event coming up on Sunday. Absolutely. So if you were unaware of where you are and what you're watching, I know sometimes I get lost on the Internet as well. This is StarCraft II <laughs> Community Team League. Uh, we are currently in the last round of the round of eight moving into the semifinals, which will be on Sunday. Sunday we will be doing a live event where Mr. Wingna and myself will be dressed and sitting at the same table trying not to fight over the camera and uh, casting great games for you that will be played live. We will be going live with the pre-show at 11.30, talking about the history of the season for SC2CTL, focusing on the journeys that these teams have made to get to where they are in the semis and then moving in to the games promptly at noon Eastern Daylight Time. So we will have a full day as we will be casting the two semifinals and then the final match. We are anticipating many hours of good StarCraft fun, so do check it out. It is going to be the best of the best from the North American <laughs> League, duking it out. Indeed, and it should be fun, and we're going to enjoy it. We hope you join us. Do give the uh, SC2CTL Twitch channel a like. That will let you know when we go live. Also... Uh, like all the Twitters, and uh, keep up to date with what's going on. But with that, I think I'm all set. Alrighty, let's move on into this game number four. Alright, and in the lower left-hand corner of Whirlwind, it is going to be our Zerg from StarCraft Ascension. His name is Reborn. And in the top left-hand corner, playing Protoss and representing Team Gear in the rear, it is Flash Lightning. Woo woo. So oh, this is a very large map, and uh, you know we've seen that really affect the opening builds of the players. So we'll have to see what Lightning decides to do in these larger maps. We've seen the Protoss do more of a uh, in-base uh, play to start with. It looks like he's going to be doing the same thing. Yeah, typically, you know, you see a lot more economic early games on this map. Uh, more often than not, occasionally you do see some attempted early aggression, uh, but it's just so hard because uh, it's not forced spawns on this map. They could be anywhere in the corners, uh, so you really have to run around trying to figure them out, making those workers sprint to try and get some good vision. And the Overlord of Reborn is heading to the right, so that's going to put him not in the correct location, but he is sending out a drone to do some scouting thought maybe that he would be putting down a hatch but no it's going to be a drone scout and lightning going to be putting down a gateway in his base he's going to try and set up a little mini wall here to keep it out but uh both players going to figure out where each other are pretty quickly lightning's going to oh are they going to oh they're going to miss each other unfortunately well unfortunately for lightning but not going to make much different difference for the zerg player here <clears throat> And it is late enough now that I don't think Lightning can necessarily assume uh, any certain positions by seeing a drone as he could have moved out at any point. But he is going to narrow down one base here pretty quick as gas comes down, pylon comes down. We're going to see a cyber core and uh, likely just some <clears throat> pretty normal play out of Lightning. Reborn satisfied with seeing what he saw. Moving that drone right back to base is going to try and do the rest of his scouting with the Overlord that's heading up there now. Yep, so we do see the pool about to finish, hatch coming down as you said. Uh, no gas yet though, so likely not going for speed too quick, getting a lot of drones out. Zealot is on its way for lightning. Uh, not Colonel Blue City, he doesn't feel in too much danger here, but the probe is going to be moving out. It looks like uh, it's just going to be plugging the hole there. So we'll see at what point lightning decides to expand. or if it, I think lightning was... Uh, 
We saw a really neat build from Lightning a few weeks ago in one of the earlier stages with DTs against Zerg and then also against Protoss. So, uh, Lightning definitely liking his DTs as I remember. And sometimes we've actually seen some neat play where they've done the proxy uh, Dark Shrine. I'm not sure if we're going to be seeing that this time. There's not a lot of tech down for him just yet, so it's still possible that could be happening. Indeed, indeed, as the... So this is the thing I don't like about this expand out here by Protoss is he's just kind of putting that down but doesn't really have anything to protect it. I mean, uh, Reborn could have a decent number of Zerglings right now. Luckily, he doesn't, but, um, I mean, it's a, quite a big investment, and if he has to cancel it, I mean, I don't know. I don't... I do not personally like putting down the expansion that naked, but if it works out for Lightning, that will be to his advantage. Certainly, is getting some sentries out now along with more probes and now starting to put up a wall of his own for the natural expansion. Thanks, Doctrine. Like, uh, we'll see you later. Uh, hopefully we see you next time. Reborn actually did put down a spine crawler outside of his natural uh, and then pretty much immediately canceled it. Uh, so I'm not sure if seeing that probe, he thought there might be some incoming aggression, but then decided maybe not. Oh, great timing on this wall from Lightning, I and mean, it came up just exactly the time the Ling started to come into Scout, so they will not be able to get in to see what's going on. Mothership Core coming out, three gateways at the front, so uh, we'll see what Lightning wants to get down here. He's Chrono Boosting Probes out, wants to get that uh, get that advantage going in Probes, but he has not even started Warp Gate yet. And that is going to hurt if he was anticipating doing any sort of timing at this point. I think now, now just now realizing it yeah. was a little bit late, starts it and puts a chrono boost on it immediately. It's going to need a few more of those to try and catch up to where it's supposed to be. Reborn throwing down a spine crawl to front just for good measure has not put down. Okay, he does have both gas at the mi at the natural mining speed just started. Drones in production, so he's not. He's uh, you know staying fairly economic focused at the moment. He's putting down another spine crawler to help against any pushes that Protoss may make. But uh, both players not really looking too aggressive. Just the mothership core now coming across to see what it can find. And this is just you know great Ling usage uh, by Reborn right now. He's running around trying to just see what's going on, trying to scout out those bases. He does see the third base being made. And yeah, this Mothership Core isn't going to be able to get a ton done. He does have quite a few queens, so it's going to keep that out, even if he sneaks around the side here. Uh, double Evo Chamber coming out, so uh, Reborn oh, going to be warp. wanting... He... Oh! Just oh. barely gets that extractor down to save the drone. Oh, looks like he... Was he going to be putting down a hatch out here, it looks like? He was. He was trying to, yeah. That was the initial intention. Oh, the Queen's the off creep and going through a time warp. <laughs> I've never seen a slower unit in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so third base now going down for Lightning. And uh, with a good deal of cannons out here, it's going to be uh, pretty well protected if they can get up. And the sentries here to huddle themselves in a nice comfy little corner uh, should be able to protect it against Infinity Zerglings at this point. And there is a small group of Zerglings going to try and move forward and get some type of aggression done here. It looks like they're going to try and storm the front, but there is a sentry there as well. So it is going to be able to get some type of storm. Er, oh, oh no! no! Force fields himself force out. So he does use his two force fields, though, but three more sentries coming in. So he's going to be able to fill that gap. But a little whoops-a-daisy there from uh, Lightning. Yeah, that is definitely not the ideal way to handle that situation. He has to be kicking himself a little bit for that. Not sure why this mothership core is just kind of hanging around in dead space out here. I mean, it must be for, for spotting, maybe as he doesn't sense that uh, hydralis would be coming through. But if it had to get a photon overcharge on, it would be a little bit of a ways away from this third base. But there is a pylon going down. Zealot's being warped in uh, by the third base of Reborn. So doing a little Zealot run by here. Two hallucinated Phoenix are moving into the base of Reborn. Going to see all the tech that's happening. And it's going to see the infestation pit and the baneling oh. nest splitting up now to just get a better gander at what's going on. Those Zells uh, come in right as that hatchery finishes, but it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get much done as these Zerglings come in. But he is going to kill quite a few Zerglings. Queens come in to reinforce. Now, an uh, overseer moving into the main base of Lightning. He is also going to be seeing all the tech, and he's going to be seeing heavy transition into Colossus as two robotics facilities are going to be down, and Robotics Bay is currently in production. 
extremely heavy. And, uh, you know, as uh, a hive and a spire fin come down exactly for reborn. So, uh, looking for corruptors and possibly um, vipers. You know, vipers probably one of the nastiest things you can run up against once you make a bunch of colossus. Uh, that and hydras. And plus three attack coming down for the melee, as well as armor and even getting uh, pathogen glands. So, it looks like some infestors going to be coming out. Yeah, he's getting a lot of tech here, and uh, this is a very early hive, I'd say. Uh, I, obviously, he wants to get Vipers out uh, to deal with those Colossus that are going to be forthcoming, but it's going to be a bit before he's going to be able to build an army and uh, get it put together uh, as he's getting all this tech it right now. And plus one armor coming down, two Colossus in production, extended thermal lances on its way. So he'll have, a, he'll, by the time extended thermal lances finish, he'll have four Colossus out if he keeps his double production. Also looks like he wants to get heavy duty on the upgrades as Twilight Council finishing surely enough so that he can get his plus two attack coming down. And Reborn doing just such a great job with his Ling placement. He's got Lings on the common attack paths, so he is going to see that army moving out pretty much no matter which way it goes. Uh, Lightning also does have an observer out here, so he can see also likewise what Reborn does if he decides to move out for an attack, but... And Reborn got Zerglings, Queens, and Infestors, a interesting composition. We've seen this work once so far tonight. Will we see it again? Oh, look at Lightning. He's totally doing a big switch now. Uh, got two Colossus out, now making two Immortals, and it looks like he had Templar Archives coming down as well. So a couple Colossus going into Immortals with Storm. Uh, you know, Depending on how heavily Reborn uh, reacts to the Colossus. Oh, oh. Greater Spire and Ultra Cavern. Yeah, he's just getting so much tech. I almost wonder if it's too much. You totally know? lost I, my train of thought when I saw those two. Yeah. it's. I mean, he's getting Corruptors out now. He's going to be able to morph them into Broodlords at his leisure as this or this uh, Greater Spire is about to wrap up. Only about 15 more seconds left on that. Galgation, I'm feeling so nostalgic right now. We have <laughs> Ling, Infester, Broodlord, Ultralisk coming down. Where's the mothership with the with the vortex and the Templar with the storm and the archons? I want to see me in archon toilet, Wings of Liberty style. <laughs> I don't know that you can do that anymore, can you? You can't, but I want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the days! But it looks like uh, you know, lightning is going to be in a tough spot here because you know these Colossus will be good against the units of the Broodlords, but I mean, with along with the Ultralist, two Ultralists in production, five. Broodlords in production, tons of lings. I mean, Lightning's going to be in a tough spot here. This is a very strong army for Reborn. You know, one has to wonder if he shouldn't have, uh, if Lightning shouldn't have maybe tried to push on this a little bit earlier or even just done some kind of warp prism harass. He obviously is getting great scouting done, uh, but now these Broodlords are moving in, Infestors are moving up, getting the lockdown on all that. So these Zealots are going to go down. Yeah, the Broodlord's just doing unabated damage. I mean, Lightning was not prepared. You really need Blink Stalkers to be able to deal with Broodlords, but even then with all these Infestors, I mean, this is a very classic build that's just... I don't know what Lightning can do against it right now. Well, he is immediately getting Psionic Storm and Blink researching, but is it going to finish in time to handle this? I'm not sure that it is. Yeah, and there's just a slow push of Ultralisk coming in, too. I mean, Photon Overcharge is able to reach those Broodlords, so he needs to back those up a little bit, but once these... Two more Ultralisk comes out, Chitinous Planning, and plus three melee coming down. Reborn really ramping up the strength of his army. And he's got the economy for it, too. I mean, he's at 200, and look at all those minerals in the bank. He can kind of just do whatever he wants. Yeah, and these Ultralisks are way out there along with the Lings, taking out the Nexus and now going for the Pylons. And you know, Lightning can't even move up into this because now he's got to deal with this small ramp. Hydralis then coming down behind this too, so it looks like Reborn may, you know, going up into some Hydralis. I mean, the obvious response for Ultralis is Immortals, and the obvious response to that is Hydralisk. Yeah. So Lightning is getting his uh, ground weapon level 3, but the 3-3 three, three is going down for ground on uh, Reborn's units as well. Oh my so gosh. he is eventually going to get that upgrade. Oh, a couple investors Advantage. get sniped there. Oh, but the force feels no good against Ultralis. No, and continuing getting those fungals down. 
Look at the they transfuses so from those damage. queens on those ultras. A single ultra hasn't died yet. Yeah, and that's just beautiful play right there. Just getting so much damage done with minimal losses. These ultras largely just by themselves completely separating the army of lightning from the army of reborn. So reborn able to just push up into the base with the broodlers while the ultras keep everything back. It looks like he's, he's only got one broodlord up there and he's actually doing aggression with just infestors. But there's the GG. GG indeed. Well, that was a very classic play we saw at a reborn. That was, uh, uh, you know, I said earlier when we saw the... Uh, I can't remember who it was now, but with all the infestors, and uh, that that was a very nostalgic game, very fun to watch, different game, and this is the same way. It was one of the most entertaining PVZs I've seen, uh, you know, lately because it's not it sort of breaks the mold uh, that we're in right now. Yeah, it's it's definitely fun to see old strategies make a comeback, if only to unhinge your opponent somewhat. And uh, adding the ultralisks in there, as they have gotten quite the strength increase. Uh, in Heart of the Swarm is definitely a neat addition to that army composition and clearly was very effective against that Protoss army. So Lightning is going to be going